this tiny incorrection will influence future steps of your work and this is what I teach you right now. Today in this shoe making tutorial I will teach you how to cut your carved shoe patterns clean. What I mean? Clean is to have very smooth and even edges of your shoe pattern. No matter where I touch this shoe pattern, it's very smooth and clean without any bumps and uneven edges. Even here in this part of the shoe pattern, all part is even straight and doesn't have any bumps. Now, most of you beginners in shoe making, when, they, when you start to cut shoe pattern, you have this mistake. You have non-smooth, non-even edge of the shoe pattern. This is what I see in works of my students. This is what I see in almost in work of each beginner. Okay, so this is wrong. Why? Because this tiny incorrection, it's not even mistake, will influence the future steps of your work. And at the end, you will have non-pretty shoes. Why? Because even when you will start to cut this line from leather, you will have none even edge at, and it will be very difficult to fold it because you will, ne you will not have a good reference to fold it. You will have none even edge and it will be very difficult, difficult to fold. It's even very difficult to cut this line because you will work too hard following all these bumps and none even edge. You see, this is how my knife will move during cutting leather and it will be very difficult to cut. So there is a proper way how to cut your cardboard for shoe pattern like a pro. This is what I teach in my courses and this is what I teach you right now. So before you start, making pattern you need to practice and if you are still not subscribed to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel because here i have a lot of tricks and tips how to make shoes and this is one of them so before you start cutting cardboards you need to practice how to practice just make some curved, draw some curved line on the cardboard like this one or like this one, okay? And try to uh, practice with these lines. Why it's better to cut curved lines? Because most of the shoe pattern, you see, has curved lines. So before you start to cut, rule number one. The surface that you need to cut, your actual pattern, must be on your left side. That means, when I will cut here, this is my pattern. This part is my pattern, not this, but this, on the left side of your line. Okay? The, when you will cut like this, you will have this edge, will, you will, this edge on your left side will be more uh, smooth, okay, than other side. Rule number two is how, how uh, to look on uh, uh, during cutting this line. It's like driving the car. Don't look a step ahead when you drive here. Yeah? You look a few steps ahead, okay? That means that when you will cut, not watch this point when you cut, uh, not look on this point when you cut, look a little bit before this line, few steps ahead. For example, if I will cut this line, the fingers is there where I will look on this line during cutting. And so this is how you will need to look, where is my finger, during cutting entire line. Don't look here, like this, you see? So, I will, now where, now I'm cutting and I'm not look on this point, I'm look here. I'm looking few steps behind the line and this is how you will get very smooth and 
even edge of your pattern. You see, without any bumps, this one, without any bumps and non-even edges. So try this small technique before you start uh, cutting your actual shoe patterns. Draw some rounded shapes to cut it, to train yourself, okay? But uh, if you will have some bump on the shoe, uh, shoe cardboard, there is a way how to fix it. So what you need to do is to take uh, sandpaper, gentle sandpaper, for example, with number, the grid number is 400, and sand the place where you have a bump. This, for example, line, this line is too, <laughs> too bumpy, let's say, I don't know. It has a lot of bumps, okay? But if you have some tiny, uh, uh, just few bumps or uh, in one place where it has uneven edge, you can sand with sandpaper, like this, the bump, I mean, and then smooth it with the entire line. Okay, so you see it start uh, getting smooth edge. So this is how you can fix your cardboard pattern, your shoe cardboard pattern, if you uh, have some non-even edge, okay? So this is small uh, trick for you. Uh, practice before you start, your, start making your shoe cardboard. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out.